Hello, this is Minder Chen. In this data warehouse and business intelligence lectures, um, I'm going to talk about uh, data mining, which is the frontier for in the business intelligence area. And I'm a professor of management information system at Martin Business School of Business Economics, CSU Channel Island. Data mining um, and knowledge discovery in database um, are, are just synonyms. Um, and in the broader sense, data mining is the practice of searching uh, through large amount of computerized data, usually stored in a database, to find useful pattern or trend. And and usually, uh, data mining is considered just part of the um, knowledge discovery um, process. And as we can see here, uh, when we have some raw data uh, initially, we need to go through a selection process and select um, some target data that we're going to use. We're going to pre-process the data so it will be uh, try to clean it up, uh, and, and, and eventually we need to transform it into the format which can be used by various data mining algorithm or software. And once you feed the transformed data uh, to the data mining algorithm, some pattern may emerge. And as a, as a user, um, of the outcome of the data mining result, we need to interpret the result and evaluate its validity and to, to see whether we can use it as a knowledge um, in helping us to make a better decision. And sometime that um, we, we may certainly go back and try different algorithm or try to to use a different data set uh, in, in, in this process. So it, it's actually an iterated uh, process we're going through uh, in, in discover knowledge from some raw data. And this knowledge discovery in database is a non-trivial process. Um, here's just a few things we need to be aware of. Uh, first of all, data is just a set of facts. The pattern usually are, are an association, dependency, clusters um, that among those facts or items in the data set. Uh, we, we mentioned the KDD process, which are multiple step process. Um, so we're not going to discuss this. And we do need to kind of validate uh, the discovered pattern um, to, to make sure that uh, it is um, has, we have high confidence level um, so that we can generalize it uh, to the futures uh, to predict future event, to apply it to analyze uh, data set in the future. Also, we expect the pattern that we identified um, are novel one, uh, which is that it's not previously known. And also, uh, we want the pattern to be kind of an actionable item, which means we can do something about the pattern we identify. We can use it to improve our business. And hopefully, uh, this is not always true, um, that uh, the pattern we identified, um, we, we can explain why such pattern exists and, and, and why it happened. Uh, this is where uh, the human insight uh, may be necessary. Uh, a group of uh, company has come up with uh, a cross-industry standard process for data mining, which is similar to that KTD process that we presented earlier, but it's, it's much broader. I, I like it uh, a little better. Um, to start with data mining work, you actually need to understand what kind of business problem that you may have. And then you need to understand what kind of data that you have and understand the characteristic of your data. And this is kind of an interactive uh, process between understanding the business and understand the data. And, and certainly the raw data itself can be difficult to 
to analyze, um, but we, we have some idea what's in there and what we need to collect. And eventually we need to go to the pro uh, a step called data preparation, uh, which means uh, most likely getting the data from your data warehouse and put it in the format, which will be ready to be used by the data mining software or algorithm. Um, using the data mining tool uh, to analyze the data is, is the modeling uh, activity here. The result of the uh, model is, um, is the patterns and the knowledge that you have uh, generated. So we need to evaluate uh, the result uh, in regarding its validity. Um, and sometimes we need to go back and actually uh, review our business requirement and go through this process again if, if the result doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to us. And so you would um, make a decision. If the result is trustworthy, then you will make a decision to, to apply um, to apply the new found patterns uh, to make a decision and take action to put it into practice. Uh, for instance, try to price uh, various product differently based on certain association pattern that you have identified. There are different data mining technique or task. Um, here I'm just give you a few of them. Uh, classification task, um, for instance, we can use to do customer profiling. Uh, profile customer into a, a kind of a set of predefined category. And this is usually referred to as a supervised learning in, in machine learning um, area. And we can use decision tree or neural network um, algorithm to, to, to help us to do classification. Clustering is another type of task, which we can group a set of objects in the way that the object in the same group or cluster are more similar to each other than to those in other group or cluster. Okay, so we can use for uh, use this for for market um, segmentation uh, to cluster our customer into different segment of the market. Summarization um, allow us to kind of uh, summarize various characteristics of a data set and assign a, a score, a credit score, a risk score, a score um, to, to an item, to a customer in this case, or to an intrusion. We can assign a risk um, kind of factor to intrusion or risk uh, factor for loan uh, to decide whether we want to approve or disapprove the loan. And one of the techniques is Bayesian um, algorithm or inference. Uh, this is usually considered as a structure prediction technique. Association is another type of task um, which we can use it to determine what is the likelihood that a customer will buy a product uh, next month if they, uh, if the customer uh, buys a related item today. Uh, this is uh, actually called a sequence association, which is based on time series uh, data, most likely. So you may wonder, um, what's the difference of uh, OLAP online analytical processing t technique and the data mining technique? Um, in, in general, they, they're addressing different type of question. Uh, I want you to kind of take your time, maybe pause here, to read the type of question for OLAP and, and the type of question that we may need to use data mining uh, to solve um, and to answer this question. And, and most, uh, you probably will find some pattern. Um, data mining tend to be more kind of predictive analysis. You, you want to find out uh, what the future event may look like. Um, uh, for instance, the customer's uh, credit risk, okay? And try to forecast the sales uh, by a particular region for next years. 
and how you may improve your throughput uh, to reduce uh, uh, scrap in a manufacturing process. And what's the likelihood that the customer may switch to a competitor in the next six months? Okay. And so this kind of gives you a, a sense of when you want to consider a lab or data mining. Just used uh, one data mining technique as an example. Uh, it's called shopping basket analysis. Um, so we can find out that what items are purchased in the retail store at the same time, in the same shopping basket. For instance, we find out people who purchase onion and potato tends to purchase a burger at the same time. Amazon has been using um, used uh, collaborative filtering um, that use shopping basket uh, data uh, to make recommendation when you select an item. Um, so let's just let's just use the kind of this type of analysis, data mining analysis, to see what are the issues involved in in interpreting data mining uh, modeling result. Uh, just as an example, uh, a friend of mine told me that at Fannie Mae, uh, they had uh, once some PhD um, employee uh, that um, run through some data mining algorithm of uh, housing uh, sales data and, and found that, um, for instance, number of bedroom and square footage um, is, is highly correlated to the market value of a property. Okay, nothing wrong with this analysis, but most of the people who heard it uh, say, that uh, everybody know that's just common sense. A more bedroom, more square footage tends to have higher market value. Okay, so this um, it, it's it's not novel. Remember, one of the criteria for uh, knowledge discovery is, has to be something unexpected, something new. That's why we call it mining. Here's another famous example. Uh, whether it's really based on true story or not, uh, it, uh, you can actually read this um, article in dssresource.com, uh, which actually discusses the history of this beer and diaper case. And one um, retailer um, done some kind of data mining and found that um, people tend to buy beers and diaper together. Okay. So the something we do need to discuss in this case, uh, I'm going to let you discuss it maybe uh, through the online forum. Uh, online discussion forum. Um, the, the, the discussion question is like, uh, why? First is why? Why uh, this pattern exists? This kind of association exists? Okay, the data mining tool usually don't tell you why. Okay, so that's the first question I have for you. The second question is, how May I use this information? What's the value of this uh, finding or this newfound knowledge? Okay, I want you to think about yourself as a manager in a, in this retail store, and and someone just told you that diaper and beard uh, tend to be purchased together. So what act? What decisions or actions that you're going to you're going to make or take? Uh, and based on this piece of information, I like to hear. Really like to hear your opinion. Last, not the least, I like to talk about uh, the the real frontier in the last few years in the area of business intelligence, which is called big data. Uh, we don't have time to go into it in detail, uh, but you're going to hear a lot of uh, people use the term big data. Um, uh, what what is the big data has uh, different from data warehouse or traditional business intelligence? Uh, people 
point out for these uh, in this case, which differentiate big data than the traditional business intelligence problem. Uh, one is the volume, the scale of the data, the size of data is much higher. The second V is uh, velocity, the speed of the data which has been generated. Okay, the streaming data, Facebook posting, um, the web servers uh, a click string or, or just web web servers um, log file uh, Twitter's tweet okay those are considered streaming data okay uh, they come um, they've been generated in ever fasting uh, pace variety the data uh, may not be as structured as the traditional data we may store in the data warehouse it could be social networks posting, blogging posting. It could be from some sensor, a smart meter that we may have. And, and so the variety of the data make it difficult to kind of get it organized. And last is uh, veracity. Veracity here means the uncertainty of data. Data may not be so reliable, so a lot of extra effort in cleaning it up and identify the useful data to be used is another challenge in, in solving this big data problem. Okay, this concludes our data mining lecture and also concludes uh, uh, our discussion on data warehouse and, and business intelligence. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in other topics. Bye bye.